Hey guys, I am back with a quick video for you and I wanted to show you um, what I was doing as far as trying to get my seeds to sprout. Um, so basically, uh, what I have is I still have my um, my tissue. Each one of my tissues are numbered with my seeds and still I have them labeled but I have them soaking in water and today I came out and I added something to the water to see if this will help facilitate it um, getting where we need it to be. See, I got my trusty cal um, map back there because like I said, you want to keep your map because you're going to use this the entire time to keep track of what you're planting and how you're planting. Okay. I also have some clippings. I'm actually cooking some sweet potatoes and I'm going to see if I can sprout these. I have them soaking in some water and something else, which I'm going to tell you about. And I also have some lettuce um, pieces that I have soaking in the same thing. And this is just water. Now I found this at Walmart. Uh, take root. And it's a rooting hormone. Okay, you see that? Broke new plants from cuttings. So that's just like when you these pieces. You know, I've never done this before. Like I told you guys, this is my first garden. But I'm going to try. The only thing we could do is keep trying and see and learn from our errors. So I added some of this, just a little sprinkle in the water across, uh, just a little bit all the way across. Um, and then I mixed it in, uh, took my tweezers and I mixed them in and basically, you know, we're going to see if this is going to work because that's what it's supposed to do. Take the, uh, get to stimulate the seeds to start rooting. Okay. And you know, you just follow the directions on the back, you know, so hopefully this will stimulate our seeds. And we will learn from that. Okay. Those are cuttings. And also, too, I begin to, um, yeah, my porch is a mess. Um, I've begun to save soda bottles and empty water bottles so we can use them in the garden for humidifiers and small potting, uh, small pots uh, for us to do a small herb garden later on. Okay. So, I just want to let you guys know everything that I'm doing. Oh, so, I'm going to show you one thing. Look at this dude. Knocked out. We also are getting, I showed you this garden a while ago. But we've also started getting flowers. Those are the nostrums. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And also, we got some budding going on in here. Can you see it? I have no idea what this is. I'm recording. I'm recording. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all, but I'm showing you the little sprouts that we get. We got a few over here in this pot, too. So I'm excited. This one looks really good. Oh, you can't hardly really see it, though. It looks really good. All right, nothing else from the other pots, but it's a funny story. My lemon, my lemon tree, right? So we left this out in the backyard, and when I came back, it was knocked over, and the I had a half a lemon in here, and the um, the squirrels. Or raccoons that's out here stole the fruit that was in here that I had growing and I turned this into an apple tree so this is an apple tree okay and nothing in my peppers yet this is hot peppers and habanero uh oh look 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 oh we got one look yeah this is awesome baby the pepper sprouting I had to tell them because it's awesome. Ah, it's gonna be wonderful. You know, we appreciate it because I told you I have brown thumbs. You see these thumbs? They are brown. So I'm just happy to see any kind of green growing. This is wonderful because this thumb is definitely brown. 
and it, I'm still covering these plants up like even though it's April I put this uh, old shower curtain that I had I throw it over there and use those um, shingles to cover it up and I don't want my bags blowing everywhere so I got my uh, my extra bags that I put, take and put over each one of these pots and I cover that up with a shingle and that old cloth and my little watering thing look I'm real life you know my setup don't have to be fancy it is what it is so I advise you guys to get started don't be ashamed or afraid just do what you got to do you know this is nothing nothing that you can't do if I can do it you can do it you see got some good greens going in right there I love it so like I say you guys just try you know the little flowers those flowers are gonna be good because they attract the bees and there's already a lot of bees around so it's gonna be good okay I am signing out guys if you want to talk queen from creation at gmail.com you can hit me up and I will respond or probably do a video about it so talk to you later bye